Your tools and small equipment are just as critical as your company vehicles on the job site. If they fail unexpectedly, it can bring your entire workday to a halt. For many fleets, an inventory list and usage log are physical documents likely stored in a binder, but we want to show you how you can gain even better control over your tool and equipment inventory with a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet gives you an instant look into your total inventory, allowing you to stock up on spares and have systems in place in case something fails. And they can also be paired with your usage log, allowing you to narrow your focus when an asset has unnecessary wear or even hold a team member accountable when something goes missing. And things will go missing. We've heard of fleet managers who have lost track of entire trailers before. It happens to the best of us. But as I was saying, a good tools and equipment spreadsheet can be a vital tool in your fleet management tool belt. And after talking with several fleet managers who have been in your exact position, we've created a free template that we think beats any other that you'll find. Today, we'll walk through how to get this template up and running, as well as some steps that you can take to customize it for your fleet. If you'd like to follow along, you can find the link to download this template in the video description below. I'd also like to remind you that we have a whole library of free tools to help you get better control of your fleet data. You can find that link in the video description as well. All right, let's talk about your tool and equipment inventory. When you open this up for the first time, you'll see that it's set to view only. Before you can start editing this document, you'll have to create your own copy by going to File and then select Make a Copy. Give it a unique name to your fleet. You could even create a spreadsheet for each of your locations if this inventory list starts to get too long. Click OK, and now you did it. You already have a better way to track your tool and equipment inventory. I'm proud of you. If you want to give somebody else on your team access to this document, Google Sheets makes that easy for you simply by selecting Share in the top right corner and entering their email address. You can also create a shareable link if that's your preference. If you look at the bottom bar, you'll notice that this document has three different tabs. We'll go into detail on each of these, but just to get you acquainted, the inventory list is an ongoing list of the tools and equipment that you have on hand, as well as their status. The usage log is meant to represent every single time an asset was checked out for use. We've even included room to receive feedback from the user. And the usage report is where the magic really happens. This allows you to take all of that information and automatically generate a report on an asset in your fleet, including its status and its usage. But we'll get back to these sheets in a minute. For now, let's talk about updating your inventory list. Navigate to the inventory list tab at the bottom. As I said, this is meant to be a running list of all the assets in your fleet. I've pre-populated it with a few items just to show you how it works, but you can easily delete items by highlighting everything and then hitting delete on your keyboard. But I need these to show you how this document functions, so we'll keep them for now. Working from left to right, you'll see that the fields we've included are a tool ID and status, which allows you to select from these four items and the color of the cell updates automatically so you can easily find tools by status. Next, we have description, which can be as general or as specific as you'd like, brand, model, serial number, and location, which could be as wide ranging as a city and a state or as specific as a shelf in the warehouse. And then some purchase information, the vendor, purchase date, and any information you want to include about the warranty period. If you want to change any of this information, you can easily do that by changing the header text or adding a column. I'd recommend adding a column to the left of the last column so that it doesn't affect your ability to filter this information. Let's say you're more interested in purchase price than warranty period. We'll change this cell to reflect that. Notice that if you change a header here, it automatically changes the title of that section in the usage report. If you need to add any assets to your inventory list, just start by typing the tool ID and then filling in all of the following fields. To find assets quickly, all of these columns are sortable, searchable, and filterable. Say you just want to figure out which inventory items are missing. Select this upside down pyramid and uncheck everything except missing. To reset any filters, just select all and then OK. If you're only looking for a way to track your current inventory, you can stop here. This gives you instant access to the assets you have on hand and their status, but we wanted to take it a step further and pair it with your usage log. So let's click over to that sheet and walk through it real quick. We wanted this to be something that helps you identify problems before they become detrimental, but it can also be something that holds your team accountable. 
To fill this out, the dropdown in this first column is automatically generated from the tools and equipment in your inventory list. So you can easily fill that in. We added in some fields for the operator and when they checked it out and then back in. And since your team is who uses these tools every day, this is a great opportunity for you to get feedback from them on the condition of the tool. We have a general dropdown with adjectives to describe the condition and then an opportunity for them to provide comments. Similar to the last sheet, you can delete entries by highlighting everything and hitting delete on your keyboard. You can also sort and filter if you wanna break down your usage log by tool or by operator. This sheet is pretty straightforward, but allows you to pinpoint specific problems or usage information when a tool goes missing. But the thing I'm most excited about is how all of this information can be used together to generate a usage report. The most important thing that I can tell you is that everything on this sheet updates automatically. If you click around outside of the two boxes that I tell you about, you could risk breaking the formulas and losing the functionality of this sheet entirely. The main box that you have control over is the tool ID. Select a tool from your inventory list in this box and you'll see that all the other information updates instantly. We have general tool information on the left and then condition and purchase information on the right. The total inventory right here reflects all of the tools of the same brand and model that are not listed as disposed. As the person in charge, you know how many of each you should have on hand, so now you can quickly make decisions about purchasing new assets or even selling off excess inventory. We also have a complete usage log for that tool at the bottom of the report. I told you that there are two cells in this report that you have control over. The first is the tool ID. The other is this sort cell right here. If you have a tool with multiple entries, you can use this cell to sort the information by oldest use first or even most recent use first. Having this kind of immediate insight into your assets is where you as a fleet or a shop manager can make decisions on the future of your inventory or identify problems that you might've been missing previously. And if you wanna print this out to share it with others, you can do that easily by highlighting the cells you wanna share and then go to file, print, and change this to selected cells. And now that guy on your team who loves binders still gets to enjoy the smell of warm copy paper. That's a win-win. A spreadsheet can be a great way to start tracking your tools and small equipment, but it still only provides a limited view and requires you to manually type in all of this information. By tracking your tools and equipment in Fleetio, your operators can check tools in and out using a built-in barcode scanner. Each time an asset is scanned, you get an exact pinpoint on a map of where that operator was located at the time. Plus, with our mobile app, you can check on the status of your inventory from anywhere and immediately start the process of repairing or replacing an asset, removing all unnecessary time away from the job. If you're already tracking your tools and equipment with spreadsheets, you can easily upload all of this data into Fleetio to get your account running in just a matter of minutes. If you'd like to see our inventory management system in action, we would be happy to personally walk you through Fleetio with a product demo. We also offer a free trial so you can click around and see if it's the right fit for your fleet. Go to Fleetio.com to get things started. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to be notified about new free tools or fleet management tips.